All right, this is Susan Lavantero. We're going to finish off the All Signs Singles for, uh, we're doing the Gay Tarot readings. Okay, using Sun Tarot, the Gay Tarot deck, and uh, maybe this Oracle. But first, let's turn the wheel. All right, I'm going to start with, we did Virgo, right? Okay, so Libra. We're starting with Libra. Personal stylist. Okay. Okay, so I, first thing I got with this was that you're thinking about changing your image. Okay. All right, and it felt pretty big. Okay. All right, let's see what else comes up. Open your mind. Okay. Ooh, look, I, you know what? It's weird because I heard listen to your future, not look into the future. Look to the future. Yeah, look to the future, right? Now to the future. But I got listen. Okay. That's what I got. Ooh, and here's a wolf showing up here. And it looks like an ibex. Ibex. That really fast animal in Africa. Okay. Looks like a deer kind of, right? Okay. Alright, so there's leaves and daisies. Okay, so this is like your dreams. Okay. Queen B. And a curious creature. I want to say that this person, whoever this represents, is a person from the past that was actually a match. Okay. For one reason or another, uh, you both went your separate ways, and if you want to go back to them, you want to, I feel like you were thinking about changing your image. Okay, now, now there was a whole series of uh, Libra uh, readings that I just did. Okay, but it seemed kind of specific, so I don't know if it touched on a lot of people or not. Okay, all right, now. Okay, so let's just read what comes out. Okay, so let's see. Be a curious creature, unlike any other. Okay. A choice to make. What are we trying to... Oh, okay, so that's the choice. Should I stay or should I go now? That song came up. Okay. Should I stay or should I go now? Da, 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 da. I don't know the whole song. Okay. Have faith. Okay. Have faith. And look, this hand looks like a child's hand. And that was coming up like... Harnessing that inner child, making peace with it, and harmonizing with it, and then um, being playful again, like a child, right? Even if you're adult. It's never too late to have a childhood, right, if you didn't have a great one. A king bee. Okay, see, that's what I was talking about. It was like your uh, divine match, okay? And that's the reason why it's hard to let go. All right, now. King B. Oh, wait. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I get into the reading, and I, I'm, like, trying to look, look at the cards and then read the energy and read the energy and look at the cards, and then I don't even have the camera on, on the cards. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right, so here we go. 
Now, this is saying whatever direction you go in, have faith in it. Okay. Oh, there's a little heart here. Oh, I forgot about that. That's so cute. Okay. Now that could be like a Pinocchio nose turn into a little heart, they said. Okay, so what is that? Have you, were you honest? Okay, in order to decide, you have to be honest with yourself and others. Do I wanna go this way or do I wanna go this way? And it takes um, pure honesty. Okay. All right, now, unorthodox approach is wanting to come together, and it could be defined in a different way than your traditional marriage, right? Okay. And an octopus, if it has a home, right, it still likes to feel out outside of the area, and I feel like that represents your expansion. And, you know, if you are having some sort of entanglement with what religion says, right? Then perhaps uh, you know the Bible or I would say this is just my opinion from what I've seen is that all these religious books are just ways that people try to ex it, um put into simple terms uh, physics so if you understand physics if you're trying to go into deeper knowledge or around any kind of spirituality that would be a place to start right here it says e equals mc squared okay Now, for some of you, this might be a relationship with someone who's into technology or science or some kind of alchemy. So that could be like, I would say, a Gemini or a Virgo. All right, but it could be any sign. What I do know is whether you go past or forward, right? And that's kind of like what was going on in the other readings. Okay, it, whatever you keep the faith believe right and move have a better understanding of physics of you and how you your placement and where you are where you've placed yourself and what you want to change and move forward what belief systems do you want to release which ones do you want to move with and that could bring in this union, whether it's the past person or or future person that you don't haven't met yet, okay. So that's a thing. And here's the crescent moon. We just had crescent moon. It was Taurus moon, okay. So um, the swans again are coming up, okay. So that's like you moving into your grace. There could have been some alchemical changes, like. All right, now, whatever you're ingesting, see how this one has a sun in the, like, third eye zone? That's like moving in hopefulness, happiness, joy, and um, charging the atom, charging yourself in that positive energy. Okay, and then here is a beetle. Okay, so in the Egyptian uh, belief system, the beetle was like... Um, kind of like a sacred symbol okay now but everything's a value we give it so that's why it's important to kind of reassess belief systems that you've been brought up around or what society is trying to impress or um, you want to see if it's something that could be constructive or something that could be the opposite of that and then free yourself Go in a direction uh, that feels um, uplifting, energizing. All right. Now you feel like someone has the key to unlock the mystery of you, but I feel like that's you. All right, now tell your story. Now a lot of times if you journal, that can open up all kinds of doors. 
So let's say you don't want to go uh, to anybody or anyone uh, to talk about anything, then what you want to do is get a journal and talk to spirit and write in your journal. Okay. All right, now let's see what is coming in. Let's see what these say. I love looking into your eyes. So that's the person from the past. I hope you're having a great day. They think about you often. Okay, and don't give up on yourself. Okay. If something isn't working, that doesn't mean the door didn't close. It means go in another direction, right? Okay, never settle. Okay, you're adorable. Ooh, that came up in the shorts. And every day with you is another adventure. Yeah, you know, I was like going back and looking at that video and where the Sagittarius, I said, came up. That could be wanting your inner child wanting to go on adventures and go out and travel some and explore some places. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. Should, would, could, and that's you. All right. So make it happen, right? Okay. So allow. I, I don't think it's about force. I feel like it's about allowing yourself to, to move in the direction that where it's um, you're giving yourself the impulses to go see and you're going places okay so that's the thing I feel like it's traveling a lot okay and you are brilliant okay even if you feel like that song dum 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 <laughs> right okay all right so let's see Okay, so whoever it is wants to spend time with you. Okay. All right, now, so let's see. Let's use this. Uh... All right, so now at work, there's a, a Virgo for someone that... So there's some sort of guilt wrapped around that. And I'm not going to go into that, but you want to balance that out. Okay. For some of you, you had an ending with a Pisces or a Scorpio or Taurus. Okay. And you don't feel uh, or earth sign here, and you you want to go in a new direction. Okay, I get that. Okay, so not here. It's interesting when I get to the Libra signs. It's like I don't want to rush through it. I want to go slow. That's the feeling. Okay, so maybe you want to go speed up the pace a little bit here. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now, you could have felt some sort of, like, competitive energy. And you, it's like defending your belief system. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm getting with this is interesting. The bountiful. Okay. Now, you have abundance coming to you. What I'm getting with this is um, remote viewing. Hmm. All right. You're remote viewing, and you have. When you do that, I feel like you have the promise of all kinds of things lighting up for you, right? Okay, because you see that person as who they really are, the inner light, okay? And then it's like you let your mind get to it, and then it turns into a forest, okay? And that's the gap. You have to kind of close that up. 
Okay, and you can have this. This is you can have it all. Okay. Ten of Cups. Now, for some of you, money situations that you've been having to deal with at work or at home has been the thing that gets you in that kind of stern uh, look where you, you're, you know, I get that too. It's like when I think, I'm turning to the thinking man, and it's like next thing you know, your face is like, you know, has that those wrinkles in between the eyebrows, and, and then that wrinkle stays there. <laughs> And then at night, you're like trying to put stuff on it to relax it out. <laughs> it's like that kind of energy. Okay, but I feel like you're transforming from that. But it's like you got to show a warm exterior. I feel like that's what you're trying to move towards. Okay, now. All right, so there is the improvement coming in. Now, for some of you, this is the improvement with um, family and in the love department. Now, if it was a Scorpio, there's still an opportunity here to feel passionate again about them, okay, and uh, to heal it. Uh, it also could be the Virgo. Now, for some of you, if you're just wandering in here and you're the Scorpio, there is still an opportunity with a Virgo. Now, if you're the person at work, right? And you were trying to bring money in for work. And you, you saw them as fooling around. So you wanted to get a hold of the, the reins. And in your mind, you were... See, it's like two people here. It's like two different visions. That's what I'm getting. But it, this could be control issues. Okay, so you want to take a look at that. All right, now, you don't want that to get into the new here. All right, let's get more. What is this? Three of Cups Reverse. Okay, you. I feel like even if it's unconventional, you want a monogamous relationship. That's what I get with this Three of Cups Reverse. You don't want someone that's going to play with your emotions. That's what I'm getting here. Or is just fooling around, right? Okay. Okay, and it will take uh, spreading the uh, your matrix or um, towards love. All right. Okay, you got two aces here. So money is going to improve. But maybe go towards love, and I feel like that this money situation will naturally improve. Okay. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. That's what I'm getting. If you... Now, for some of you, this is like improving your money situation at work or at home is going to improve being able to go back with the past person. Okay. But what I'm getting here energetically is go towards what you feel passionate towards, whether it's love or whatever... And that will improve your situation. Do something for you. Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. And that past person is persistent for someone. Okay. The King of Swords. Now, this was coming up and it was like a... A church uh, stained glass window. Okay. Now this isn't going back to the person. This is like 
revisiting those things in the mind that were painful when you had a union with someone. Now, for some of you, this is an interaction. Ooh, that looks like somebody. Okay, so now, hmm. this is like revisiting the things of the past. This was like Ghost of the Christmas Past reading that came up. It's coming up in here. It's like free yourself from the past. You can't change the past but we could change the future yeah see and that was painful stuff in the past okay but they're saying go in the direction in your mind in this feel good place okay this is like being so caught up in your mind you're not seeing the things spirit brings to you everyday celebrations because you're so caught up in your mind thinking about all this stuff so it's like, be present in the moment. A lot of opportunities are coming to you, but I feel like you're caught up in this mind stuff. So open up, be present in the moment. Every day, Spirit is trying to bring you something to celebrate about. And um, that looks like New York marriage. That's what I'm getting from it. Okay. Okay. And it may feel like when you meet this person, it was like finding a needle in the haystack. Okay. That it was like one in a billion that you found this person. That's what it feels like. Okay. But it's possible. Woo! Okay. May take courage again. I said that. Okay. This you want to watch out for too. It's like constructive criticism. When people criticize, you can always let it roll off your shoulder, right? But are they saying something that could be beneficial to you where you could assimilate it into your wisdom and use that towards something? All right. Now, Yeah, this is freeing yourself from past entanglements that didn't work out so great. Okay. Holding on to the idea of love while looking in other places. Okay. Woo! All right. Now, I think this came up in the uh, other Libra reading, too. The lover's card. Okay. Okay. So this is what is desired at the core level, even if you haven't admitted it, I feel like. And this card represents all the potential that Spirit's been trying to bring to you. And every one of them, they said, is a positive potential. So uh, be present in the moment, wherever you are. And then uh, this is you finding balance again in love. Okay, it's like the not the hero's journey, but the healing journey. That's what this is. And if you've come into contact with a, another um, if Aquarius energy, that could have been uh, a mirror. It could have been some sort of wake-up call. It could have been um, them loving you, even though if it's, it might have seemed like it was some sort of tough love thing. Okay, yeah. Okay, so see, it's like healing after the storm, and it's starting in a new beginning. It's like the destructive nature, freeing yourself from that, moving into healing into your new beginning. Woo! I love it. Okay, I'll leave you with that, Libra.